All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call the text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, man, let's talk about Joel and Beeb. Now, Joel and Beeb is speaking out on Ben Simmons. He, I mean, let's just talk about it, man. He talked about how they uh, they didn't want Jimmy Butler there. And, uh, I mean, he said on the situation that our teams have always been built around Ben Simmons' needs. So it's kind of surprising to see what was said. You can go back to the reason we signed out for Horford. We got rid of Jimmy Butler, which I still think was a mistake just – not just to make sure that we, uh, he needed the ball in his hands on uh, Joel on, on Ben Simmons skipping training camp. So, I mean, let's dive right on into it, man, because, you know, my thing is you want him to come back, but, you know, snakes keep showing their true colors. All right. That's what snakes keep doing, man. He was never for Ben Simmons. All right. It was real. It was, it was rumors about, and we're going to go through the articles too. It was rumors about, um, them not getting along for real. They, I mean, just because you don't hang out, but them not being close. I mean, you could talk about what Ben Simmons not being able to shoot, but we also could talk about Joel and Beeb not being committed to his, his his physical. Physically, he not being committed. We could talk about they was up a, a whole bunch of points versus Atlanta, and they could have closed them out with not shooting Ben Simmons, but his fat ass didn't want to get on the block. He didn't have enough conditioning to help them pull them through. So at the end of the day. People forget that Doc Rivers and Joel Embiid threw him up under the bus. People forget that after the game, it was Ben Simmons' fault. But we should have never been. If I'm Philadelphia, we should have never been in that situation. Had Joel Embiid been the player that he was, and he he would have got on the block and, and, and finished Atlanta off, we wouldn't have been in that situation. So Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons are both to blame for the situation that they are in. But Joel B being a, the, the vocal alpha male of that team, being a vocal and the most talented player on this league, he didn't let this franchise down multiple times. He had foot, leg, back issues, and he don't get in shape. We seen Jokic being fat and chubby and, and, and getting tired the year before last. He won the MVP. And Jokic, he lost weight during the pandemic. He came through skinny, maybe too skinny. He learned his body through the offseason. He became the MVP next year. Physically, Joel Embiid is physically more talented than Joel Embiid. I mean, more Joel Embiid is physically more talented than Jokic, and just as as talented him as talented with basketball skills. And this is what you. This is why Ben Simmons ain't coming back to that team. This is why we can't make Ben. This is why we can't fake to make Ben Simmons happy. Get him there, trade him. Right, well, get him there. Rise his trade stock. Trade him. This is why you can't get Ben Simmons in the door. This is why we can't get him to work. As soon as he do something that you don't like, y'all got something negative to say about him right there. If y'all was trying, if y'all was trying to get an effort to get him in the building just to raise his trade stock, he played good in the season. Raise his trade, raise his trade stock. He might hit a couple jumpers and trade him and, and betray him. You can't even, you can't even set up to betray him without shutting up. Shut up. No comment. I love being no comment. Oh, being show up. No comment. We going to Ben House, no comment. Come on. But you can see why. Can't can't shut up. Simple as no comment. I love Ben. Can't shut up. It says uh Joel and Beep, who who does know that 76 are better with Ben Simmons around says today that the Report suggestions they're not a fit together. It's borderline disrespectful to other guys on the team in a wide range of answers. So my thing is this. He said y'all not a good fit no more. That's his opinion. He don't feel like he fit in. That can be mentally. That can be physically. That can be friendship. That can be a lot of things. He said, I saw it. I'm not sure. I don't know if it came from him or whatever, but over the past few months, stuff has been put out there looking at the reaction of him uh, hold on. Looking at the reaction to him, can y'all see that? There you go. Looking at the reaction to him not being here, I feel like it's fair to assume it's coming from whether 
it's his agent or his people or whatever. I feel like over the years, the way our team has been built around, you look at the last year, the whole starting lineup shot. Uh, I was the worst three point shooter in the starting lineup. I shot 38 percent from three. We've always had shooters. I feel like I can really play with anybody. I can really, excuse me, I can make anybody better on the court. I don't necessarily need shooters, but I feel like over the years, you look like when we signed Al Horford, you're talking about Al, it's because we need to stretch five just, just to make sure uh, that was there. Most of my career, I kind of stepped out to the three-point line, which I don't mind. I like to be a basketball player. I like to do whatever. I do everything on the court, but I but I feel like our team has been built, whether it's the shooting needed or the stretch five, all the stuff, I feel like he's always had it here. And we always have it. Seth is one of the best uh, three-point shooters ever. Danny Green, Tobias, 40% three-point shooter for, for Ken, coming off the bench at times. Shake, I think he could be a better shooter, but, you know, he can get, get hot. Uh, we added George, so I feel like our team have always been built around his needs. It, it was kind of surprising to see, we'll, uh, we'll say, that even going back to, I mean, the reason we signed Al, we got rid of Jimmy, which I still think was a smake, mistake just to make sure he needed the ball in his hands, and that's the decision they made. Like I said, it's surprising, but I really focus on our guys that are here. The situation is disappointing, borderline kind of disrespectful, so all the guys that are here – fighting for their lives, fighting for their lives. I guess you, I know what you mean. Some of the guys rely on the team being successful to stay in the league and make money somehow, because if you're on a winning team, you're always going to have a spot in the league just because you're on a winning team and contribute. So I get what he's saying. So that was part one. Okay. Um, Let's read this. I, I thought it was longer. Excuse me. Obviously we're a better team with him. We're not. A better team without him, that's for sure. We are a better team with him, but I like, but like I said, it's surprising. But I'm focused on the guys that are here. We're trying to get better, trying to get on the same agenda. We know what we got to do, and every single day we got to attack it. It as we are trying to get better every single day. We are a better team with him. There's no question about it. We still hope he changes his mind, but I kind of owe it to our guys to worry about what we have here. That's the fun, the fun of the job to kind of figure out what's going to happen. That's not my job. I'm not the GM. I'm not I'm not the owner. So that's none of my business. My thing is this. Shut up. One thing about him, he don't know how to shut up. Just shut up. Let's reel him in and throw his ass back out the path, back out to sea. Just shut up. That's all oh, sometimes it's just better, it's better to shut up. Even if you don't listen, just shut up. Even if you feel like he disrespects your guy, shut up. He threw we a better team with him. He just threw it. He threw that out there to make him feel comfortable. Come on. He said we got rid of Jimmy Butler because of him. He said it was a mistake, but he needed the ball in his hand. He blaming him, and then like, uh, and then it's like, it's like when you say something harsh, but you put an emoji on it, a laughing emoji or LOL to make it, to make make the statement not as harsh. That's what he's doing. He made a hard statement, and him saying that we are better with, with Ben is putting a laughing emoji or LOL to make the statement and not seem as callous and hard and disrespectful as it is. He didn't disrespect y'all. He said, I don't fit. It wasn't that the motherfuckers can't play. They can't shoot. They can't dunk. They can't win. They can't play defense. They suck. They try. He didn't say nothing. He said, I just don't fit here. He took a statement if he don't fit and then said, well, we did everything to make it fit for him and that's how they really feel about Ben. What they said after the they got eliminated in the playoffs from Atlanta, what they said is what they meant about Ben. We can't win a championship with Ben. We lost because of Ben, because he passed up a dunk or a layup. That's what they, they mean, what they mean. If I'm Ben Simmons, he, they said he willing to throw away his 33 or 34 million salary not to play there. You know why that is? For one, snakes in the grass. I'm not going to – I don't want to be a part of a team when I can, I can, get a, I can go somewhere else that don't like me. Y'all can say, well, you know, he don't care about basketball. His life's cool. When he said, I'm willing to get traded anywhere, I think he's like, I, I can trade to Minnesota. That 33 men go to Minnesota, and what they're trying to do is you destroy him, you destroy his confidence, like you destroy Markel Folk's confidence, and then y'all figure out, I can't get nobody better than him for Ben Simmons. I can't get a superstar for Ben Simmons. Now we need to kiss his ass to bring him back. Being like, no, I'm cool. 
Shit, I made a whole bunch of money. I ain't tricked my money, y'all. I, I, I made investments. I, I reinvested my money. I can miss $33 million this year. I can miss $34 and not, and not be hurting and not begging to come back. I'm not gonna get fat and blow up. I'm still being in shape. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna work on myself. I'm working on my, my, my shooting. I'm gonna work on some with some women. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna fuck the season. That's what he's saying. And when y'all go out there and y'all the seventh, eighth seed, or y'all y'all the number one seed, y'all need to get over that oomph. With me, trade me. He know what league he in. It's a matter of time till he get traded. They not gonna what what superstars they gonna get back for for him? What superstars? Ask yourself, what superstars? McCut, I mean, uh, Lillard, no. Bradley Bill, no. Nobody on Phoenix, nobody on Denver. Um, uh, you're not gonna get Zion Williamson. I mean, you're not gonna get him away from the Clippers. So, wh where do we go to get a superstar, man? I'm gonna just pull that up for you. Where do we go to get a superstar, bro? Where do we go to get a superstar? Boston, who? The best case scenario of a team fall off and you get their star. Well, I mean, Kevin Love not gonna help. Let's say you. I mean, let's look at the, the superstars. You're not gonna get Luca. You're not gonna get Zion or Brandon Ingram. You're not gonna get nobody from Denver. You're not gonna get nobody from the Warriors. Houston Young, nobody from Clippers or Lakers. Minnesota can you know who you gonna get from Minnesota? D'Angelo Russell. Mm, he ain't really super. Phoenix, no. Portland, no. Kings, no. Spurs, no. OKC. Shea Gillingsley, they just signed him, no. Utah, no. Memphis, no. Uh, and then anybody, the Bulls. I mean, really what they got to hope is this. Literally what they got to hope is the Knicks kind of stumble out the block or, or better yet, they got to hope somebody like Cleveland. Well, no, not even Cleveland. They got to hope that somebody like Chicago stumble and spend all that money. And they don't do good, right? And you got to hope to add a guy like Zach Levine. If I'm them, I don't need another superstar. If I'm them, I need a really good all star. Like, like let's say I go to I go to Cleveland, bro, and I and I can and I can pick up somebody like Okora, Colin Sexton, some picks, and Kevin Love. Cool, I do that because of the picks. I mean, some some place like uh Toronto, right? You need the shooting. I don't know who they all got no more. I'm sorry, I think Toronto they fell off. But somebody where you can get a preflow of picks, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, John Wall is a willing shooter. Why not get John Wall, get some Houston picks, you know what I'm saying? And you look at some of the players they got in Houston. He said he'd play anywhere, right? Um, um Eric Gordon, I don't know what they gonna what they gonna they need a they need a, a multiple players. Like if they go to Sacramento, right? Sacramento saying not getting rid of Hell Burden and I'm getting, getting rid of De'Aaron Fox. That's fine. I go to Sacramento. I could walk away with Buddy Hill and picks. They don't need picks no more. I could walk away with Buddy Hill, picks, Bagley, bring him off the bench because he always injury prone. I can say, you know what? Let me get Buddy Hill and Davion Mitchell in, in a first round pick, and, and that's fine. I'm totally fine with that. Why not? And throw in Bagley. Why not? I could be fine with that. Buddy Hill gonna give you shooting. And Davion Mitchell gonna give you a guy that can break you down who can play with Maxi. So you know, like I said before, they got they got choices. They just gotta um, they just gotta use them wisely. So so um so um, like I said, Joel and B was who was already a master in low post, made himself into a shooter to accommodate Ben Simmons. Has been added something to his game to accommodate Joel. If he did, please tell me because I may have meant at the end of the day. At the end of the day, he's the floor and he stabilizes Philadelphia. Right? He stabilized Philadelphia. If Joel and B stayed on the block, they would have beat Atlanta. It don't even matter. Had he stayed this fat ass on the block, had he gotten the shape? Yes, he has accommodated him. He came in the camp in shape. He come. To the games in shape. He come to camp in shape. He ain't the one getting tired and huffing and blowing. <clears throat> He's accommodated Joel by coming in shape. If y'all feel that way about me, trade me. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. They hurt because he want to move on. And they can't move on from him and get the compensation that they want. That's the biggest problem. That's why. 
They don't want to take a Buddy Hill, a Bagley, and a Davion. They want a nigga like Lillard. It's not going to happen. They don't want to take a Colin Sexton and, and Kevin Love and multiple picks. But I tell you this, y'all didn't win nothing with him and Joel and B. So why not trade for multiple people? They want come on, man. They want to wait and see. They don't want to trade him for a herder, a herder, who was it? A herder and a uh uh Boyanovic or herder and a, a Gallinari and uh DeAndre Hunter. They don't want to do that. They want a superstar for him, and you're not gonna get a superstar for an all-star who can't shoot. That's the issue. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Best way to donate, want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal, link in description. Appreciate the financial donations. Don't forget you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video quest, all the information in the description. Let me know what you guys think at the NBA Talk playlist. But my thing is this. They mad because he don't want to play after they dogged them out and they can't trade them for nothing that they want. That's the bottom line, peace.